This is the biggest problem when it comes to being a self-learner. Let's talk about this. One of the hardest things when it comes to being a self-learner is understanding that there is no clear path. And I think that's really difficult for a lot of people. For example, if you wanted to become a lawyer, you can go to university, pass the bar exam, you're now an official lawyer. If you wanted to be a doctor, you'd go to university, you go to medical school, you do your residency, guess what, now you're a doctor. Even in tech, if you were to go to college and get your CS degree and learn these languages, it could still not produce that opportunity for you. Especially when you're a self-taught learner, there's no linear progression or straight path that you can go down that guarantees an opportunity comes your way. And I feel like this is where a lot of beginners start freaking out. And even if you look at Twitter, for example, there are all these tweets where it's like, learn HTML, learn CSS, learn JavaScript, and people run to it giving it likes because they're looking for a clear, concise roadmap that they can follow that they think produces the opportunities that they're looking for. And the reality is there's just no guarantee in that respect. You can do things to help stack the deck in your favor. You can do things like such as learning the in-demand languages in your area that the companies are hiring for, but nothing guarantees if you do X, Y, and Z that it produces and guarantees you that position. The only things you can really do is stack the deck in your favor, make yourself the most valuable candidate that you can make, and really make sure that you're producing some value that an employer is going to say, you know what, I really like what you're doing here. I think a lot of people think your entry into tech is going to be a straight line. Fact of the matter is, it's going to be a crazy mess. Take me for example. I started learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. From JavaScript, I went to Python. I realized there's no opportunities in my area for Python. I didn't stick with it, and I stuck with Java. From Java, I started learning Spring Framework. And from Spring Framework, I just realized a very common stack in my area is Java Angular. So I had to go back and learn JavaScript because I completely forgot the whole thing. And then I started learning Angular. That gave me my stack, my entry point into the career field that I'm in. Do me a favor and drop a like on this video. And if you do, I'll make sure that the console errors never come your way. As a self-taught learner, there's so much doubt and you're heading down this path. You're trying to make this progress and you're looking for validation or reassurance that you're actually doing the right things. And I think this is like a bad recipe at times because we're always so focused on where we're going. We're so go, 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 go that we forget to pay attention to where we are and where we've been. And there was a moment in time where HTML was so intimidating to you and you conquered it. There was a moment where CSS was this crazy beast that you never thought you would understand and you started learning about it. There was a moment where JavaScript was a position that you dreamed that you would be working on, right? And you're in the middle of what you once looked forward to. Take a moment, take a step back and recognize where you are in the progress that you're making. I know it's intimidating. I know there's a lot more that can be done, but trust me, those moments where you take a moment and just like really look at what's happening, it allows you to appreciate how far you've come and lets you know how badass you really are. But most of all, I think one of the biggest things is recognizing everything that you've accomplished thus far. It makes everything that you're heading towards a little bit more easier, but understand there's no straight path. You may buy, jump all over the place. You may learn this one thing here, learn another thing there. It's completely okay. What matters the most, and this is crucial, is you learn your fundamentals and scale with it. And I think this is a big thing that a lot of beginners don't pay attention to. They're racing to some arbitrary location to try and reach this deadline that they've created in their own head. But in reality, take your time, but make sure you're building off the fundamentals because that is going to take you to exactly where you want to be. Now I could talk about this all day, but I want you to check out my other videos. So check out my other videos and I'll see you on the next one.